Hi everyone, welcome back to day two. Today we are going to be making living maps. And just like yesterday at the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you some maps in our collection. Now what you need for this craft is a flat um, box, maybe like an old cracker box or cereal box. I just happen to have a piece of car cardboard laying around that I cut up already. Yarn, um, you get this in your kit. A hole punch scissors, a pen, and an object that you can trace. And then again, anything like paint, crayons, or markers for you to decorate it after. So the first thing we are going to do is after going for our walk and taking a look at different focal points and writing down some notes, um, we are gonna put that stuff to the side for now and make the craft and then decorate it after. So I'm just gonna take my, my coffee cup I used this morning and my pen and trace around. Now you can do more than one, um, depending on how you like, and these don't necessarily have to be necklaces. You could make them into uh, bracelets as well if you'd like. So then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut out the hole. After I'm done cutting out my circle, I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm going to make a hole at the top, whatever way I want the top of my necklace or bracelet to be. Then I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm just gonna cut off a smaller piece and then thread it through the hole. After I'm done threading it through the hole, I'm going to take my two ends and tie them together into a nice knot. If you can't do this by yourself, ask a sibling or a parent for help. And there you have it. You made a nice living mat that you can wear around. Feel free to decorate with all the buildings that you saw on your walk today. I'll see you tomorrow. Back to you, Emma, in the collection. This is a fire insurance plan map of Niagara on the Lake dated December 1949.